All right, I'm huffing and puffing a little bit. I am just getting rid of a web treatment right now. And a lot of people get the spider and web treatment wrong because they'll just knock down the webs. And when you just knock down the webs, the spiders will come back and it just takes them a matter of hours to rebuild those webs. So here's a few tips on how to actually web so the spiders actually and the webs stay away. First of all, you want to hit spiders directly. If you just put a line down, it's not going to do almost anything to help the spiders stay away. You actually want to find where they're at, and that's going to be a lot of times in cracks or crevices, and obviously the webs will give away where they're hiding. So before you take out the web pole, you want to go around to the house and find every spider web and spray around the cracks and crevices around that spider web, and then if you hit any, find any spiders, hit them directly. Now, you can go and just web right away, but you might want to wait about 10 minutes till the webs are dry, that way they're not as sticking as much. And then uh, what I have with me here, this one, this web pole, it goes for about 100 bucks. Um, but here's a trick, if you want a long web pole that's going to cost you about half as much, just go down to like Home Depot and get a painter's pole. A lot of times you get 18 foot, 24 foot um, painter's poles. If you're a professional, it's probably not the thing for you, but if you just want to find something that will actually reach that second story of your house and get rid of those webs, for about half the price you can get a painter's pole. And a lot of times they'll sell these uh, web heads just right there, like a Home Depot or something like that. And that way you can reach that second story of your house. And uh, that's how we uh, get webs and to actually stay away for longer than just a few days. Bye.